Okay, so from this area, we see uh, much more clearly, we're starting to see the main channel underneath the, underneath the bridge there. And then this, this sort of off pocketing, the side pocket where we have relatively low water movement going on. Um, again, same phenomenon though as before. We have a relatively st uh, steep angle going on here. So the transition from aquatic to transitional intertidal to you know, more terrestrial vegetation is very, very quick. So here it's happening over, you know, as the crow flies, probably about 15 meters, you're seeing that, that complete transition. Um, now, now that matters for a couple different reasons, but one of the things that's really key to note is that we don't have, even though this, this area is, you know, more than 30, uh, about 30 hectares or so in size, um, there's not a lot of vegetation, right? There's not a lot of wetland vegetation. So we have, a, we have more, well, I haven't done the numbers, but I think we have more of the terrestrial stuff than we do of the uh, purely wetland. And so that means that a lot of these sensitive species here, um, it's, they're in something of a bathtub ring around the whole perimeter, right? So, so we do want to be careful with those, and we don't have as much um, wetland vegetation as you might expect from a gross you know, Google Earth inspection. So this is a great example of why it's, it's really important to start to look at those Google Earth type, type of images at the start, but you really have to come out and do the site assessment to see what's going on. Um, the other thing is this is, a, this is a high traffic area. So if you look up and down here, um, we see this pathway is, is really um, heavily used. And if we look over to here, what we'll see is, so this is Malibu Colony. So this is, we have, we have tons of houses over here. These are all high-end houses. And so these are, are all the, the you know, millionaire movie star people and stuff. So they're really uh, concerned about security, right? So they um, have very strong fences. So, the, so any kind of transition here for any kind of terrestrial critter is really, really hard. Birds, not so much, but everybody else is pretty hard. So we'll see, you know, 12 foot high fences or higher fences. Um, and they're, they're not just a fence, but oftentimes they're a really thick wall, right? They're, in, they're, they're not very um, a permeable. And so, so even though the ocean is right over there, if you were a critter, a bird trying to forage, you have to go all the way down to that end to get access to the, um, to the ocean. So, uh, so in other words, the, the, the transition here is very thin. Our edges are really important, but we don't have uh, very extensive edges. So we're always concerned about both the core of the habitat or the core of the community we're talking about, the area that's outside of our community and the transition between the two. And in this case here in Malibu Lagoon, the transition is where most of the, the story or a lot of the story is happening. It's really important. And because it is so narrow, we have to pay particular attention in terms of management, thinking and planning to assure that we don't lose this important transition. Good.